In today's blog, I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on right now offshore with all the tuna fishing. And when I talk about offshore fishing, it could mean tuna, it could be the yellowfin, it could be the bluefin, but right now it's September going into October and all the other species are starting to show up off San Diego in northern Baja. There's Dorado, there's yellowtail, skipjack tuna. So this is the basic technique for all that. Now you're fishing live bait. What I really want to tell you is when you get on that first bite, when the boat slides up and it gets a trolling mark or the skipper stops on a meter mark and they're chumming bait and the fish start to attack the boat, fish the heavier line. Start off with 40 pound test line. When those fish first come to the boat, they hit it with reckless abandon. They're not line shy, especially those fish over 100 miles out. They haven't seen a lot of boats, so they're going to hit the boat really hard, chase all that bait. They know they got to get to that sardine or their anchovy or their buddy, the other fish, is going to get there. So they're hitting the boat really hard to get to that bait. When they first see the bait, they come so hard, they're not line shy. Go ahead and fish the heavier line. Use the 40 pound. After you catch a fish or two and you see the fish start to slow down, because fish will actually slow down. That first time when they charge the baits and they hit the, the chum, they're flying all over the place. And if you watch the fish closely, you'll see they'll get slower and slower to where it just becomes a pick bite. Then there's like maybe a fish being hooked there, fish being hooked there, and the skipper says, all right, let's go ahead and find another school, one that wants to play, one that's more active. That's what I'm saying. Use that heavier line first. After you get a fish or two on the boat, or if the fish start to tire out and slow down really quick, then go the lighter line. Go to 25-pound test. If you have to, go to 20. You just don't want to really go to 20 too quick. We had a trip this year where guys started with 20, and we had school of 70 to 80 pound of bluefin come in. And out of the four that were hooked up, only one got landed because that one guy had 40. Everybody else had 20, and they all got busted off. Now, as far as hooks, there's basically two style of hooks that we use. We have the circle hook, and we have a J style hook. And if you're new to fishing, I really recommend a circle hook. You know, um, both will work. The J hook will work too. The only thing you have to remember is if you're using a circle hook, when you get bit, all you do is point the rod at the fish, put the reel in gear, and wind. The fish will hook itself. You don't set the hook. If you try to set the hook, all you're going to do is make the bait go flying out of the fish's mouth, and you're not going to catch a fish. And how do I know? Because I've done it many times in the past. A J style hook is totally different with the J style hook, and that's what this one is here, traditional style hook. What you're going to do is let the fish bite the line, pick up your bait, run for three or four seconds, don't count to ten, count to three or four seconds, put the reel in gear, let all the stretch go out of your monofilament, wind down a, a crank or two, and then set the hook really hard. On this one, you got to set the hook hard, you got to drive that hook out of the bait, into the fish, and then you start to fight the fish. And just go ahead and relax at that point. Lift up and wind your reel every time you lower the rod tip, and then pick up your line by lifting the rod, and every time you lower that rod tip, you should be turning the handle. If the line's going off the reel, don't bother trying to turn the handle. Just let the fish run and tire itself out. If you use your drag correctly, use your rod tip correctly, should never break a rod, never break a line. You should just have fun out there catching those fish. If you're not sure what hooks you need, you can pick up one of my hook kits. We have them on my website. They're made by Eagle Claw. They come with all the different hooks that you need. There's a DVD there too. That's in English and Spanish. And it talks about how to tie knots, rigs, and what the different fishing is. These hook kits come in three different styles, one for inshore, one for offshore, and one for surf fishing. It's got everything you need in them. They're inexpensive. It's good information on there. Just the DVD alone is worth the, the price of it. That's today's blog. Now, there's a lot of tuna action going on. I got one more trip next week. You should get out there and join us. We have a few spots left, day and a half trip on the Dolphin 2. But for all the information that's going on with the TV show, visit my website. Sign up to get on my Facebook page so you can see all the pictures and updates of everything and check out my daily blog. Well, thanks again for watching my show, and I'll see you on TV this weekend.